Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to rewrite subtraction as addition in algebraic expressions. This strategy can be helpful when working with terms within algebraic expressions because all terms are going to be separated only by addition. This makes it simpler to identify terms, count terms, combine like terms, or whatever else the case may be. Again, because everything is separated only by addition. Now, is this a strategy you have to use in order to work with algebraic expressions? No, but it's good to be familiar with and it can be helpful. Let's jump into number one, where we have something simple to start off with, five minus three. This is going to help us see how this strategy works and then we will apply it to an algebraic expression. We know that five minus three equals two. We start with five and then decrease in value by three, so we end up with two. We can rewrite this as addition by adding the opposite. Always remember, we can add the opposite. So let's rewrite this as five plus, so we are adding the opposite. The opposite of positive three is negative three. Let's change this to adding a negative three. So we are changing this to addition and then the opposite of positive three is negative three. Again, add the opposite. We are still starting with that five and decreasing the value by three. We end up with two this way as well. So by adding the opposite, we're not changing the overall value of everything. We still get the same solution. Let's move on to number two, where we will apply this to an algebraic expression. For number two, we have 4x cubed minus 3x plus y minus 2x cubed minus 18. So let's rewrite this algebraic expression so all of the terms are separated by addition. So we are going to rewrite all subtraction as addition. So again, we need to add the opposite. So let's find all of the subtraction within this algebraic expression and add the opposite. Let's start with the subtraction of a positive 3x. So add, and then the opposite of positive 3x is negative 3x. So adding negative 3x is the same as subtracting a positive 3x. Next, we are subtracting 2x cubed. So subtracting a positive 2x cubed. Let's add the opposite. So the opposite of positive 2x cubed is negative 2x cubed. And then lastly, we are subtracting a positive 18. Let's add the opposite. So add, and then the opposite of positive 18 is negative 18. Let's put that all together and rewrite this algebraic expression with those changes. So we have 4x cubed plus negative 3x plus y plus negative 2x cubed plus negative 18. So now all of the terms are separated only by addition. And again, this can make things simpler like identifying terms, counting terms, combining like terms, or whatever else the case may be. So there you have it. There's how to rewrite subtraction as addition. Just remember, add the opposite. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.